This video has something for everyone, whether you're a young whippersnapper or an old fart like me, stay tuned, because class is in session. Controversial opinion. Fragrances do have a gender assigned to them as well as an age range they are more suited for. For example, it would be weird to smell Terre d'Hermes on a woman and it would also be strange to smell Terre d'Hermes on a 12 year old. In this video, we are going to discuss the best fragrance in each age group going in each bracket of about five years. So we'll go all the way from being <laughs> newly born to the last years of your life. So this video is gonna be good for you knowing what are the best fragrances to try out at the very least in your age range. You know exactly what are good fragrances to buy as gifts as well for other people. And finally, it will be an interesting video where I will just discuss the main challenges that us as men face in each age range. It will be a nice discussion in the comments, hopefully, about life in general and why we buy fragrances at each point in our life and what function they're designed to serve. Let's get into it, guys. Starting off from zero to 10. Okay, this is a bit of a joke bracket. I'm really not sure uh, if someone should be wearing a cologne under the age of 10, but if you guys insist, let's say you wanna buy it for your kids, uh, go for something simple and cheap like CK1, or go for the legendary SpongeBob cologne, which I believe has several characters to choose from. Ages 10 to 15, I actually think is an okay time to start wearing fragrances. If you're not wearing canned deodorant like Lynx slash Axe around your peers, then you are doing better than 99% of them. At this point, I actually recommend you don't wear deodorants, which are designed to try and hide your odor through another smell. Uh, disclaimer, it doesn't work. What I recommend instead for you younger guys is to use an antiperspirant. Something simple like this, this is a roll-on that has a mild scent to it. Overall, it's meant to reduce your sweating. I would then always recommend that you let your fragrance, your spray-on fragrance, to be the thing that does all the work for you in terms of scent. For you guys in this age group, I think Versace Blue Jeans is the perfect fragrance. This is easy to like, affordable, gets you a lot of compliments, even for guys older than this age group. I think this is one of the best value fragrances on the market. I think this is under $20 for everyone worldwide. It lasts a good amount of time, that's six hours, and you can pretty much wear this every day, all year round. As a young guy, you are focusing on school at this age, and you're gonna be sporty as well. This is a good sporty fragrance, that will make you stand out from your peers. Okay, at 15 to 20, you're mainly gonna be thinking about girls. Let's face it, you're coming to the end of puberty. Most guys this age will opt for fragrances like Versace Eros, which I think is absolutely fine, but I would say that's your second fragrance. Your first fragrance, I think, needs to still be versatile. You can wear it at school, you have important exams and life decisions coming up, and you're still gonna be playing a lot of sports, so you need a sporty fragrance also. In my opinion, everybody in this age group should check out this. Yves Saint Laurent's Y Eau de Parfum. This is more unique than Sauvage, but more youthful than Bleu de Chanel, and it's higher quality than Versace Dylan Blue. So in my opinion, out of the blue fragrances in this genre, this is the best one to go for in this age range. Yes, it's excellent value for money because of how versatile it is, where it's all year round and all occasions, it still smells sexy for girls, and you will still be able to wear this in any sporting environment. If you don't know already, this lasts about 10 hours with a good amount of projection, and it gets a good amount of compliments. Age 20 to 25, in my opinion, remember this is a generalization guys, <laughs> if you're a guy in this age range, you're focusing mainly on the start of your career. You're gonna be wearing fragrances as well as clothes that are a bit more serious, that make you stand out a little bit more, but at the same time, your income is still limited at this stage, so you want something affordable. This is what I recommend, Mont Blanc Explorer. If you know about this fragrance, this is a Creed Aventus clone. It is a smoky fragrance that's toned down the pineapple from Aventus. Overall, this is mainly a woody fragrance. Highly masculine, easy to like, and very inoffensive. So you can wear this to work or on dates all year round. For the price, you can just keep on buying more and more bottles of this and keep using it. It's a very good, reliable fragrance. It's not necessarily my favorite clone of Creed Aventus, but I think it's definitely the smoothest. So if you're gonna consider blind buying this, or buying this as a gift for someone else, this is the safest option. I do like this fragrance a lot. 25 to 30, this is scary now. This is my age group. 
generally, again, generally, although this is not something that applies to me, some guys will be starting a family at this point or they would have been recently married. You have a little bit more income and you're moving up the ranks of your career ladder. In my opinion, this is when you should definitely go into niche fragrances if you haven't already. And this is a fragrance that is extremely underrated and I think everyone should try out. Aqua de Parma's Oud. This is the freshest Oud fragrance you will ever smell. Aqua de Parma is a brand that will give you fragrances that smell high class and elegant. Ideally, you should be well dressed with this fragrance and you can wear this all year round. It's a versatile Oud scent. It sort of smells like a clean barbershop fragrance. It has the citrus notes as well as leather in here as well. But the leather and Oud combined here makes it smell aquatic to my nose, which is a bit strange. It's a really unique fragrance. It'll definitely make you stand out and most people like this. For that reason, this is a great fragrance to get into niche with. It's still an affordable niche fragrance, relatively. I definitely recommend you check this out and it lasts about 12 hours. 30 to 35, you're even more likely to have started a family by this point. You might have some kids that are a little bit older now. At this stage, you might be getting into fragrances that are at least 200 pounds slash $300. If you're going to pay that much, you definitely need to get this fragrance. Parfum de Marley's Leighton. One of the greatest niche fragrances ever made, one of the best from the brand. This is the most top selling fragrance that everyone will like. If you're gonna be around a whole range of people in your life, professionals, your wife, your kids, you will do well with this fragrance. It gets a lot of compliments, it lasts over 12 hours, and you can wear this most of the year round. I would avoid this in the high heat summer days. But other than that, it's really good value for money. It's one of the few niche fragrances where if you want to blind buy at this price tag, you can with Leighton. Oh, and I should probably mention what it smells like. It smells like a fresh powdery apple pie. Just try it out if you can. It's, everyone loves this. 35 to 40, this is when you should move into daddy territory. You really need a more mature scent here. This fragrance is one of the best from the brand. It stood the test of time. It is a classic, yet still timeless. I think it's gonna be relevant for many more years. Creed's Green Irish Tweed. A mature man's boss signature to wear all year round. I haven't recommended Aventus because I think nowadays there's too many clones that do it well and there is less batch variation with this fragrance. So I still think this is worth buying. I think every man in his age should at least check out GIT. No, I do not think Cool Water is comparable. The quality here is infinitely higher. This literally smells like a soapy green Irish spring field. It's overall fresh, mature, professional, masculine. This makes you smell distinct and this makes you smell like a boss. If you're the boss of a company, you can definitely rock this fragrance. And that concludes the video, guys. 40 plus, you have a lot more income usually. So at that point, you probably love perfumery. You have more of a developed nose. Go for whatever's high quality, such as Zerjoff's Alexandria, which I'll show you some B-roll of, or something like Tom Ford's Tobacco Vinyl. The world's your oyster. I hope this helped you out, guys. Do you agree about my general commentary on your life stages as men? What do you think? Obviously it varies from guy to guy and from different parts of the world. I hope this video helped. Make sure to check out our other videos. We'll see you in the next one, guys. Class dismissed.